All right, my babies, let's get into it. Scorpio, second half of February, February 14th through 29th, 2020. Babies, sun, moon, rising, second, fifth, seventh house. Whatever placement that you have, Scorpio, chart, in your chart, Mars, Mercury, Venus, North Node. All right, we're going to get into it, okay? We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. If you guys are new to this channel, go ahead and like this video, hit that red subscribe button, turn on notifications. I have amazing, amazing styles. Oh my God, it's Yoni Seeds, my love oils, clarity oils, money oils, sugar scubs, um, feminine washes. My personal readings are not open and available to you if you guys are interested. So let's get into it, all right? Scorpios, what's going on for the second half of February? February, second half of February 2020. So whenever you guys see this, this is when it resonates, all right? Scorpio, collectively, February 2020, second half, the second half of February. Second half of February for Scorpios, collectively. Second half of February for Scorpios, collectively, sun moon rising, sun moon rising, thank you. Alright, Scorpios, what's going on for the second half of February 2020? Sun moon rising collectively. One more shuffle, thank you. What messages do I have for Scorpios collectively? Scorpios collectively. Scorpios collectively. Sun moon rising. Scorpios collectively. Thank you. Okay, so Scorpios, you got owl and death. Owl, there are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. You guys are going through changes and death, a time of natural transition and transformation. Major changes, Scorpios. There's a lot of things that you guys are letting go of. I'm also getting you guys are rebirthing yourself. I'm also getting changes. I'm also getting whatever if you were going on a path it's like something is being obliterated or whatever you were doing is like a change it's like death the death something is abruptly going to end whether this is a job a way of doing something an idea okay but i'm also getting it's changed something is changing you for the better okay but i'm also getting there's a need for you guys to embrace the changes is also what i'm getting because i feel like a lot of you guys can be fancy at this time all right Four, the emperor. Stability and efficiency. Taking charge of a situation. Ambitious plan. So, four, four, four. This also has to do with stability, your home, environment. A lot of you guys are what are becoming stable. The way that you guys are um, projecting out, okay, is like you guys are want you guys are wanting to take charge or wanting to control certain situations okay this is also your intuition okay so some of you guys are also being guided when it comes to a home situation is what i'm hearing i'm also getting this there could be some type of death in the family so i send my condolences okay but i'm also getting whatever you're going through Whatever you've been, whatever path you are going through is kind of like God, Ja, Allah, whoever you believe in, they switched you in another direction. Like, whatever you thought was right, it's like, no, 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 Scorpio, it's not right for you. Let me get you back. Let me, let me make you go through a change so you can see what you need to really see, Scorpio, okay? So, I definitely feel like the Four of Cups reverse is you guys can be, some of you guys can have a... Some of you guys are very anxious is what I'm getting, okay? But I'm also getting emotionally, you guys know that you you got, okay, your emotions is like making you stuck or whatever you've been thinking, whatever you've been doing. Like, I'm also getting illusions here. So I'm also getting you were believing things that were not real or maybe this was people telling, maybe you were believing in believing something 
that wasn't real or something that you were doing wasn't real, Scorpio. I'm also getting the eight of swords is communication like stuck. Like you feeling stuck or trapped. Like emotionally you can be feeling stuck or trapped here when it comes to your emotions, when it comes to your past. Because the six of cups is past. So this can be past situations, relationships, connections here. Okay, relationships. Literally, I just said that. So a lot of you guys are really feeling uh stuck, bound, or trapped in a situation. Okay, there's some type of Line cheating, sneaking behavior, okay? Some type of heartbreak that you guys are going through when it comes to a relationship. Or this can def definitely be, like I said, there's the, the magician, manipulation. Okay, somebody was trying to, somebody, you you or somebody else was trying to manipulate a relationship here, okay? I feel like you and somebody stopped talking. You wanted to go towards them. Or you wanted them, or they wanted you, or some type of situation like that. But it's like something wasn't real. You wasn't real, they wasn't real. Okay, I'm also getting whatever you were doing, it's an illusion. It's an illusion. You're going to be heartbroken. That's why you're all up in your head and your thoughts are all over the place. Because whatever you thought you were doing, it wasn't for you or wasn't. it wasn't... That's why you have to let, it's like you're having to return to the past, to a past relationship that didn't work out, a connection, but there was some type of betrayal, lying, sneaking, cheating behavior. It doesn't have to be love. This can be friends. This can be whoever. The magician. Somebody's already speaking this truth out. Whoever, whoever can see the unseen, hear the unheard, they're speaking the truth out. If you watch me and you're a cross watcher, then you can be seeing this and being like, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, the Scorpio really did that. If this is a Scorpio and you're watching me, you could be saying, Oh shit, this relationship I really did mess up. Or there was something that I did say or do that messed this thing up, is what I'm hearing. The Queen of Wands reverse. Now it's kind of like you're trying to figure out what you want in life because this this situation, whatever you did, is like whatever you put out, Scorpio, it comes it comes back. Six of Swords reverse. And it's kind of like you're trying to, you're trying to have a, a clean slate, but it's still thoughts, it's still thoughts, actions that still there. Page of Wands. And it's kind of like now you're wanting to, like, now you're wanting to either give an offer to somebody or someone's going to give an offer to you. Remember, these energies could be interchangeable. But I feel like there's now someone wants to like open up or say something or apologize or whatever the case may be. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. I'm also getting a lot of you guys are stuck in a situation where you guys thought a relationship was going to work out or you thought something was going to work out and then you found out that somebody was lying, cheating, sneaking, or this is how they found out about you. I'm also getting now, it's kind of like some of you guys are trying to figure out how to get to a, a better situation, but it's like, how can you get to a better situation if you guys, the magician, it's like something that you manifested, something that you put out into the air, okay? Because the magician is magic, spells, candles, so it's also like whatever you try to do when it came to this relationship, this connection, it's like it backfired is also what I'm hearing. That's why all this stuff is happening. But I feel like this offer is coming, whatever this apology is or whatever this communication is, it's kind of like, some of you guys are wanting to shift your, your thought process or it's a need for you guys to shift your thought process here. Okay, there's a need for you guys to really go through some type of transition or change. Some of you guys are going through a change and that's the real reason why you guys are anxious because when you go through a spiritual transformation, you have to let go of everything that is toxic, unhealthy. So a lot of this is you realizing that a lot of the things that you, you did do, say, or that you have been doing, saying, whatever, has been unhealthy or in some type of way harmful for your growth. Okay, and that's not bad. Okay, everyone has flaws. Everyone is not perfect. No one is perfect. So this change, this death, this you being illuminated to certain things, you're going to be like, oh shit, like, wow, like, really, I was really this way or wow, 
like I really did this to this person or this connection or however this resonates with you, all right? Because again, the main thing is you guys wanting to be stable or the main thing is you guys wanting to be like your own, your own, like your own self, like be good in your own skin. So in order for you to be good in your own skin, Scorpio, you got to peel back them layers. You got to peel back them layers. And that causes a death. Because a lot of you thought that whatever you were doing or however you were living, whatever you were creating, it was good for you. It was best for you. But then you're realizing or these things, situations are transpiring, blocking you, hindering you, causing you anxiety, causing you to feel blah, 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 blah. Because whatever you're doing, saying, etc., it's not for you. The person's not for you. Whatever you're doing, it's not for you. Whatever you're trying to create, it's not in alignment for who you are. You're wanting to be stable. How can you be stable if you're still stuck or if you're still having baggage or still holding grudges or if you still uh, do devilish things or vice versa, whoever this is for? All right? So again, Squirt, that's all I got. Peace, love, and light, guys. I love you guys like I love myself.